together, I think, uh, when uh, when March last time played on the Champions Cup, I think uh, the Colombians were not yet here. So here we go. Amager in white in ball possession going now really fast to the Colombian basket, pushing in from the open side. And the uh, Colombian player has uh, her shoulder quite deep in the basket here, as I saw, but there was no dangerous situation uh, for the basket so far, so uh, referee didn't call it. We have a cluster on the surface in the middle of the pool being pushed in direction of the Akaren, of the Norwegian basket. Fighting on the surface. Ball is loose in the hands of Colombian player. She tries to get away, but the forechecking is immediate. And uh, the communication between the Orcas is a little bit uh, patchy here uh, at the, the right now. And uh, we talked about it yesterday. Ball possession also lacks a little bit of uh, consistency. And the ball play of the uh, current players is fast and uh, very sure. But nevertheless, uh, the Orcas made it here uh, to get into the half of the no Sorry. Uh, very so concentrated. Mermaids are number six. Sorry. Sorry. We continue. I was just checking the schedule. Colombia, tomando café y mirando a las niñas a qué hora de la madrugada. A ver. Necesitan ganar este partido si quieren tener una posibilidad para ganar el triangular. Recuerden que están jugando un triangular con eh, Noruega y con Alemania. ¿Ok? Están ahora jugando el partido contra Karen. Ayer perdieron 1 a 0 contra Langen. Y bueno, el que acumule más puntos de esos tres partidos, van a jugar todos contra todos, eh, gana, o sea, son los primeros tres puestos. Y ayer las alemanas hicieron el primer gol dentro de los primeros 30 segundos del partido y las chicas de Orcas no se pudieron recuperar. Atacaron, intentaron, pero no pudieron. O sea que necesitan estar despiertas hoy y ganar este partido. Sorry. I was just saying that they need to win this, uh, the, the Orcas need to win this uh, game if they want to have a chance. Because they lost yesterday 1-0 against Langen. We have the triangle. I remember this is the first three places of the competition. is uh, Akaren, Orcas, and Langen. Langen already won against Orcas. And now we have this game. And after that, uh, Akaren and Langen uh, will be played later today. So um, let's see. Uh, Norwegian team is very aggressive at attacking. Very dangerous. So uh, the Colombian team really need to bring that ball away. Uh. But the funny thing is, I, I just saw um, even the, the Orcas in the first uh, minutes playing around the Arcaden basket, um, is the, the communication in the Orca team is not that confident. Um, they had some misunderstanding in passing, but nevertheless they managed uh, to keep the ball in their ranks. And like we see right now, uh, if Arcaden uh, plays, it, it's so fast and, and confident but um, it, it it looks like they they struggle getting the ball away from the orcas who uh, really play a current you mean now yeah 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 look look at look at the scenes it's uh, the orcas are not so safe in the ball play and in in their team play but nevertheless a current struggles well uh, I great really pass I wonder about well, that yeah, I Because I'm used from a card in the more uh, um, decisive, more well, they're great, uh, intense no? I know, but, but they, they, they are not, don't succeed in stripping the ball away from the, uh, how can you say, it's, it's the... Well, I mean, because they are these two very experienced teams, they know, they know what they're doing, so it's not going to be easy, it shouldn't be easy for uh, Nor uh, Norway to 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 get the ball. It is, I think this is, they they both very experienced teams. No, but and but look I know. at that scene, the, the ball was like, uh, I in, know. in the loose, she didn't know where to pass to, and still it went in the hands, like like that scene too. It's it's really like the Orcas in the right place, uh, even though they, they it's not uh, uh, intentionally, but they do quite a good job here. But now uh, Karen is in ball possession. Wow, great ah, recovery. Nice this is one of those open passes that I love for the Norwegian style. I think it's really, really nice. 
uh, how the flow of the game changes with that. But now we have one uh, of the uh, Akaren players coming from above. This is what they are specialists in good for Norway, attacking from above and then passing down. We have one player right on the goalie. This is a very dangerous situation. And uh, Colombia just recovered the ball, and now they are trying to start a counter-attack, but being intercepted uh, by two white players of uh, Akaren. Still, Colombia in possession of the uh, ball going into the close corner, waiting for the rest of the team to arrive. And now it's two players coming towards the defender and the goalie, trying to attack from the open side. And this is very dangerous because the Norwegians are very good at recovering the ball on this side. Uh, you know, the fresh players just jumping in. And good interception by uh, Colombia, but nevertheless, uh, Akaren is a counter-attack. It's one against the goalie. She's trying to uh, wait for the next player. That was a good action because the goalie of mm. the Orcas was uh, empty for a minute there. Was, there's a lot of chaos right now, and this is really dangerous because you have two players from Akaren in close proximity uh, of, uh, of, the, of the goalie. Yep. Wolf, sorry. I talk nonstop. I, I love to listen to you, so uh, don't, don't mind. Go on. <laughs> Here you have uh, the players from Akaren yep. for the names of Orcas. Bueno, recobran el balón estas niñas. Eh, estos ataques acaba de ser bastante peligroso. Las noruegas son muy, muy, muy... Um, eh, tienen mucha experiencia y la verdad el riesgo cuando están sobre la portería es muy alto porque eh, saben lo que están haciendo y son más grandotas que las colombianas entonces eh, desde, el, desde el, lo físico tienen un poquito de ventaja también los, los brazos más largos y eh, necesitan las chicas de Orcas recuperar un poquito más el control como estaban al principio que veíamos que los primeros minutos sí venían como más dominando eh, y ahora como que Karen se, se, se activó y está haciendo la vida bastante difícil al equipo colombiano para estar en posición del balón y para llegar a, a atacar ¿no? now, now is Akaren more in possession of the ball yes, and dominating but, but a bit I'm, I'm nevertheless uh, I'm uh, um, uh, I have to admit the the gameplay of the Orcas is impressive here to to go in between the fast uh, and uh, ball and swimming play of the, of Akaren. The swimming capabilities of the Orcas um, give them the almost an edge here to intercept uh, the long passes and uh, to to use swimming to take away the advantage of the longer bodies of the Akaren players. Um, Orcas do a very good job and I think Akaren um, is struggling here to do what they love to do, to play open and uh, to play fast. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing teamwork from the Orcas even though their ball carrying and their ball uh, possession is not that sure as is the Akaren one. But uh, until now and it, it's tipping a little bit in favor of uh, Akaren who have more ball possession around uh, the Colombia The attacks basket. were much more yeah. dangerous than the attack that... Uh, but we see two teams facing each other in the first minute here. The Orcas the are level. passing up. I mean, this is also something we normally not don't see. Lilo, uh, the captain of the team, trying to find someone to pass the ball. She was left alone there. And um, Colombia really uh, was having it now. The, the, I mean, some problems in the middle field to keep and playing together. I mean, they're in the surface a lot. Like you have one, two, three players on the surface. Um, you know, probably a combination of being tired, nervous. Uh, they have some new players that have been here before. Uh, Akaren has all their experience. Um, they uh, are now in counter attack and as three against three swimming with the ball. The Colombians got into position well, the ball is in the surface and uh, uh, now the white team is trying to attack but it's also not been easy for them to find a, a way to, to towards the Colombian basket. Now we have an attack from above, this is really dangerous, I mean the Norwegians are so good in attacking from above and passing the ball around the next one, I mean this is what we know from the Norwegian players. This is continuously coming like arrows, you know, like torpedoes toward the basket from above. 
uh, until they score. A bit like the Amaga girls did uh, earlier today. This is all the typical from the Scandinavia way of... And this is getting dangerous because now, for a moment there, the goalie was almost alone. And uh, now we have two whites, two blues trying to recover the ball. Yeah. But I, 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 it looks like it's harder for uh, Akarem here to build up their momentum as I would have thought. No, thought. they are doing a good job, but Orcas has also a very strong yep. team. Yep. I mean, now yeah, it's a counter-attack yeah, yeah, yeah. from the Colombian team, and it's one against one, two. Now very good interception by number six. Stop that counter-attack, and the, 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 the Norwegian girls have a bit of the advantage of the length of the body. Yeah. If you see yeah. the Colombians, so they are longer with the legs and the arms, but, so but for the, the Colombians it's difficult it to reach. Swimming. What? But the, but the orcas neutralize yes, it by swimming. I know, but what I mean when they're on the goalies, yeah. then yeah. Um, it's the easier the reach of the arm of the Colombia play. Oh, this is very dangerous. This is really this dangerous the for the Colombian team. And this is something called up the referee the holding exchange. without pushing without ball. Free throw against the current. A ver, eso está complicado. Estoy diciendo que, bueno, las chicas de Colombia están teniendo problemas para atacar porque, bueno, las noruegas son más altas, son más grandotas, tienen uh, mucho más alcance con It's las like piernas y con los brazos. Entonces, es complicado cuando esas intentas a atacar por arriba porque, bueno, no llegan. En cambio, las, las noruegas realmente eh, estiran el brazo y ya están en el cuello de la portera porque son más altas, son más largas y son oh, saben utilizar bien eso es uno de, de, las, de, las, de los ataques que, 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 que han hecho toda la vida es atacar desde arriba y continuar atacando, o sea, hasta crear suficiente eh, inestabilidad en el portero, metiendo siempre el balón ¿no? en alguno de los rincones que queden abiertos estamos Colombia, despiertos es Norway, awake and watching you have to wake up early Early in the morning today, Molde uh, play at eight. Although the transmission sadly was cut out for most of the of the game against Malch, I was such a pity. The, the the electricity fell down in the in the um, uh, pool, and then the whole system start readjusting and blacking out. And so we apologize for that. But nevertheless, hopefully there's still some regions away, and they are. Uh, Watching the game for the uh, Akaren team. Anyone there? The uh, girls are playing a triangular for the first position. Remember, Akaren, Langen, and Orcas. Langen has won against Orcas 1-0 yesterday. They achieved the score in the first 30 seconds of the game. And now Akaren... Uh, is uh, trying to to score. The thing is, Orcas needs to win this game if they want a chance at the least. If they lose the game, then they uh, already third. So let's see. Middle field. Number six is has now in position of the ball, but it's now very tight fight to recover the ball in the middle of the of the field and now we have a counter attack from the uh, Norwegians uh, got intercepted by the defender fantastic work by number seven that recover that was uh, Daniela and uh, now the next this is very nice and dynamic uh, match much better than the one uh, that was played against Germany yesterday that was not much uh, so much swimming and so much uh, yeah flow yeah it's a, it's a good flow we see in this game i totally agree with you lorena um both teams face each other on a, on a equal level uh, with different little, little bit different styles amanda we're not we are not here playing you, uh, are you, i thought you were from a card and as, as well are you are you sick are you injured Let's see. Um, and ball drops down in the hand of uh, uh, the uh, Colombian player. I saw a lot of situation, as I mentioned already, um, where the Colombian players... Like, well, a nice interception of a long pass here. They, yeah, they're they doing... are wide awake. And it's, it's like they're... Uh, um, it's like magic what uh, the Colombians are doing here. They're right in the right place, even though it doesn't look like a plan what they're doing. They're in the right spot, in the right place. Uh, amazing game, probably the best game I saw so far from uh, 
the Orca girls in the water here. And here comes the Karen. Now forward, ah, we have a huge wall of a current player so just Whoa, getting this into the is basket. That's, oh, oh, that's, that's very close. The ball was close to the basket, yep. That goal for Norway. Uh, that was a really great attack. That was, I mean, fantastic recovery of the ball, swimming the counter-attack, speeding up uh, the first player, go to the goalie. The Colombian goalie go, uh, was alone, pull the goalie up, try to throw the ball, went on the side in the next... Uh, um, yeah. a current player Good could game, put it in, game. yes. Uh, this is what we what we know this about current yeah, this, this going in a counter attack, dangerous. being there before the defense can position themselves, creating chaos and then using the gaps to score. So let's see how Colombia is reacting. Very fast attack now by Colombian players. Lilo going to the surface and having the ball passing it farther. Um, the Colombians managed quite well to hold on to the ball against uh, the forward checking. They're having trouble to attack. Yes, but uh, they they keep the ball in their ranks. And here we go. They go in, but there was no leverage for the player. Although she pushed up from the ground, but uh, stopped by a cut and ball pushed forward in the hands of Colombian players. So they keep on uh, going in. And here Akara is again in ball possession. This is the dangerous moment when Akara switches from defense into the attack. Call from the referee. Well, let's see what the sign is. So Mane Barson uh, had to work. End of the first half here. So Amanda, we miss you here. Hopefully next time you'll be around again. Teams are changing sides. I mean, it's a great game. Yes, I it's enjoyed so it much, much dynamic yeah. and nice. I mean, yesterday between Germany and 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 Colombia was very static and very kind of slow after ah. the German um, it, it's score. Funny sometimes how yeah, the, the combination. Can, uh, I know. Each other. Yes, yes. Sometimes yes. you have two teams with uh, uh, um, amazing swimming capabilities and nevertheless uh, they, they, they it gets uh, the end the result of their facing each other is static because they are blocking each other their mm. ways which is effective but makes the game to watch quite uh, quite boring so good morning everybody um, uh, Wolf and Lorena here in yeah. Berlin Drinking uh, lots of coffee so. drinking lots of coffee we were just okay. talking uh, uh, the last days about uh, the first time we did the comments here for the live stream of the Champions Cup uh, six years ago, I think it was. 2014, the, yeah, yeah, that was the first uh, year. Winner was asking uh, us to do the comments and we were not sure it was the time uh, when <clears throat> a lot of the comments were like uh, in the style of uh, an hour goal. <laughs> End of first half. Another goal. No, well, it wasn't like that either. And then, and then there was like, oh, that was close. <laughs> Another goal. So Hopefully they do it a little bit better. Yeah, no, but, but uh, the, our idea was when we first did it, talk uh, nonstop and be like a, a, a radio transmission because we were thinking, live, well, we got the feedback. A lot of people are just listening to the live stream, um, having their devices either on uh, earplugs at work or at home uh, doing yeah. the... Well, today's pushes. Sunday morning. Hopefully, not many of you are working and most of you... We have now... I will repeat again for people maybe what's it's not aware. This is the triangular of, on the first place. So that's why we don't have like a final or semi-final per se that like we're going to have with the male team. This is a Karen, a Langen, and Orcas for the triangular. Orcas lost yesterday 1 0 against Langen. It's losing right now 1 0 against a Karen, but they have 10, 10 or 15, 15, 15 minutes, sorry. 15, 15 minutes. minutes more to go. And then the last game will be a Karen versus Langen, and that's going to define who is first, second, and third. We have also a triangular between the fourth, fifth, and sixth position. Uh, but for now, already the Black Mermaids from Sweden um, lost both games against uh, Vienna and, and against Amaga. So there are six, and now at, um, Vienna and Amaga are going to be playing later on for the fourth and fifth position. Uh, 
For the males, we have already the finals early this morning. We had the semifinals between Molde and Malz. Malz won 1-0 and is now in the finals. And then we had Orgas versus Hemelina, the Finnish team, uh, and they won 2-0. So now the final is going to be played at 3.15 Berlin time between Malz and Orgas, I mean the German team and uh, the Colombian team. It's going to be the, a highlight. The, the champion, yeah. And uh, this, the, the final for the third place is going to be played between Mode and Hemelina at uh, 1.45, I mean 13.45 Berlin time. And the Langen versus Akaren, which is the last match of the triangular within the top three uh, teams of women, is going to take place in between at 2.30. So we have for the third place, male, Molden, Hemelina at 1.45. Langen versus Akaren for the girls at 2.30 and the final Mals Orgat at 3.15. Okay, so is everyone updated? Uh, let me repeat that quickly in Spanish. Uh, muy uh, cortito para la gente de habla hispana. Estoy diciendo que eh, las finales de hoy, o sea, bueno, las chicas de Orcas tienen que ganar esto porque si pierden van a quedar ya en una tercera posición. Están jugando el triangular contra Akaren y Langen. Perdieron ayer 1 a 0. Eh, hoy a la mañana se jugaron las semifinales between, en, en, entre Malsh y Molde, donde Malsh ganó 1 a 0, entonces fue a la final. Y Orcas masculino ganó 2 a 0 contra el equipo, contra el equipo de Gemelina, entonces va a estar jugando la final hoy a las 3 y cuarto. Entonces tenemos el lugar, o sea, el partido por el tercer puesto entre Molde y Gemelina, o sea, Noruega y Finlandia va a estar jugado a la 1 y 45. Eh, el último partido del triangular de las mujeres entre Alemania, Langen y Akar en Noruega es, lo van a jugar a las 2 y media. Y la final de Mals, el equipo alemán contra Orcas, Colombia es a las 3 y cuarto. And we're back to the game. Wow, the fast, the, the, the ball play of Akaren is uh, amazing. These uh, bullet shots they do with the ball is, is really like fast forward. Uh, it's like uh, you, you switch on a fast forward stream and it's amazing to watch. But nevertheless, uh, you see here the uh, Orca players interfering, intercepting. Although this was a bad uh, placed pass in the run uh, of a player and she was already covered by our current players. But nevertheless, uh, a great game here by both teams and the Orcas are up for what uh, Akaren has to offer them. Um, but now Akaren, uh, I would, ha would love to have heard what they were talking uh, to, the, the teams were talking in the break. Um, because uh, sometimes you see a difference, but in the way they played, I think Akaren said we have to play our game and don't let uh, the Orcas interfere. But again, like in this situation, Orcas uh, managed to steal away the ball out of the game play of the Akaren players and uh, move forward. Also, the forechecking here is quite intense by Akaren, number nine here, the fighting captain, captain uh, Kjellaug uh, Hurland. And it's a back and forth, and both teams really like uh, on a on an equal level here in this game. And this is a typical current style coming in on the defense with three players, but uh, the forechecking defense of the Colombians makes it difficult for a current to play their game and to appear in the, in enough mass around the basket to force a gap. Yes, um, it's. I mean, right now, uh, Akaren is dominating more the game, and Colombia is more reacting, is more trying to adjust, uh, is much more present than the Norwegian team that it was at the beginning. And um, now they're trying to swim uh, towards the, the uh, Norwegian side, and um, but Norway recovered the ball, and then in, in a counter-attack, they, you know, I... This is very close. The goalie oh, this will be, uh, almost didn't manage. Just it was an interception. Great saving. Uh, and another attack. If a eso por Dios estuvo por un pelo ahí. Llegaron justísimo las niñas a, 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 a salvar esa, ese, esa pelota. Están teniendo dificultades realmente para poder empezar a, a atacar. O sea, uh, Noruega está ahora de, dominando el partido. Al principio estaba más igual. Incluso las chicas tenían como más control del balón y estaban pudiendo atacar. Eh, pero Noruega se recompuso y realmente está siendo muy difícil para Colombia recuperar el balón y empezar un contraataque. I mean, Norway is dominating right now and is doing really their game. And Colombia now is like 
running behind. I mean, yeah, before still, they were much more. The, the Colombians managed to interfere uh, more. Yes, than but before thought. it was uh, much yes, more. I yes. mean, they were much more in control. It was 50-50. Yeah. They even have more control of the ball. Right now, Norway is just coming like in torpedoes, like, you know, what they yeah. they do best. The pressure, they get the ball and they come like an arrow. <laughs> yeah, the it's really, really was hard on beautiful the Colombian to basket. See. But uh, again, the uh, Colombians managed to break free out of their own defense perimeter and move forward into the current area. And uh, it's nice to see how they don't take the first um, player to pass to, but to check if they are covered by current players. And, uh, and here we go into the basket of the Akarim uh, defense. But it's, it's not enough for the bodily. Uh, a ver, la próxima. Aquí el balón directamente debajo de la portera. Ay, ay, ay. But the, 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 the length of, uh, uh, of the bodies and the, the mass is in disadvantage to the Colombians. And going in only with one player is not enough to force a gap. No. And to be able to score here Necesitam against the current. Yeah, they need to do a little bit more of, of more waves, more like the. Uh, Norwegians were doing really coming from above and from the side or from below. Um, it's taking a little bit longer now. It's one player what, when Colombia with the ball, the next Colombia with the ball, the next. I mean, it's just one, one, one. Colombia, this is not enough uh, to force uh, Akarim into mistakes and to create gaps. Um, they can play this style for uh, a long time without making mistakes. So uh, if Colombian uh, players from the Orca team uh, want to score here, they really ah. have to get in in numbers. Interception by Akaren, and we go forward again with Akaren in the direction of the Colombian basket. A ver, eh, las chicas están teniendo como inconvenientes para poder realmente y volver y estar de vuelta. Son dos noruegas contra uh, la portera. A ver oh, qué está pitando. No, don't say. Yes. Penalty? Penalty. Penal. Penal en contra de eh, Colombia. Could you see if she well, hold the, herself? The, I did not I see. I think it was a shoulder because she was under pressure from uh, the close v. side. And uh, it looked like she just uh, uh, um, had her shoulder in the basket to prevent. No pude ver si. ¿Quién estaba happening. en la portería? Estamos, están todos muy calladitos, estamos todos así como conteniendo casi la respiración. Eh, es un partido bien intenso. ¿Quién estaba defendiendo? ¿Era Margarita? Eh, con las niñas me cuesta un poquito más eh, reconocerlas, así, o sea, alguna que otra sí, pero el, a ver, creo que esa es, es, está defendiendo Margarita, ¿no? Está agarrándole la cabeza un poco. Es Cristina Nergard. Against, uh, do you see the number of the Colombian no, player? No, I, I was asking the Colombians. If, I think it's, I don't know, I think and it's Margarita. From but above, uh, really uh, she's trying so good. to get under the goalkeeper, but she managed to be uh, in the way, and they are now. Uh, ay, ay, now, ay, uh, Dios uh, mío. In a, in a Esa es Margarita, alguien que me conteste. Están ahí. Seconds, and the uh, current ah. player went up again. Oh, no, she's, yeah. goal, uh, ok. You, you the, Pero muy, muy bien hecho, muy bien hecho. Player was already out of air, and it's this uh, last time, uh, always if, a, if, a, if the attacker takes a breath and goes down with a plan, it's mostly... No, I don't think it was uh, completely, of course the air was getting lower, that's, uh, of course, but I don't think that was the, the problem, the problem was that the... The, the, the Norwegian player was, was you know, using her arms uh, very good and eventually could grab uh, the Colombian and, and pass her. Very well done oh, here yeah, by yeah. the... Uh, Manuela, ah, gracias, chicos. Attacker. Margarita. Christy. Ah, me pareció, porque está en la lista, pero no la vi. Digo, pero como, o sea... Call um, from the referee, holding without ball, free throw against Akara. Me parecía, yo te veía en el chat, pero pensé que era tu mamá, Margarita. Y dije, bueno, con tu perfil o así, pero estabas en la lista y no te vi, no te veía. O sea, es, yo, no, qué raro que no la de Margarita. Bueno, me la debo haber perdido, o sea, siempre... Ah, oh, ya. So, uh, 2-0 lead now for Akaren and 7.5 minutes left. This game is not over. 
but uh, we saw the difficulties of uh, the Colombians. Oh, there was a pass behind the back. We saw that from the male Colombians too. Uh, very effective if it works, but in this case intercepted, holding without ball, free throw against um, Orcas. Yes, um, that was really well, well hold, uh, held. Uh, the penalty. Penalty. I mean. Yes, yes, she did great work against uh, the the body difference. The length of the body yeah. is uh, quite uh, uh, important here, in especially in a uh, in a penalty. Another attack here from uh, number six, Lisbeth Hawksfire. And there's she a big chaos there, but dangerous situations again, oh, there's no, no goalie keeper. anymore. And the Norwegian trying to the steal the basket, the ball is somewhere there and uh, this is a big mess uh, of Colombian trying to get uh, uh, possession uh, on the basket and control of the situation. I don't know who lost the mask, if there was a Colombian or uh, an Norwegian player. Uh, interception uh, of the ball of one of the Norwegians and now they're coming a counter-attack um, and uh, number 20 uh, from Karen this is uh, Christine Tine, or Stine, you say um, brought the ball back to the area uh, of uh, Colombia now Colombia is recovering just recovered but uh, lost the ball and this is this is a killer when they just managed to get the ball back and the defense is towards going yeah, an offense moving yeah and then uh, they have an and we have uh, the next recovery from the Colombian side uh, something by the call from the referee I think it attack was on the mask free throw for Colombia ah, attack on the mask. Let's see if they can do something now. It's 2-0, but still five timeout. minutes left. I think it's a timeout for the Orcas. I would suggest 2-0 lead is solid here uh, with uh, five minutes, a little bit more than five minutes left in uh, this second half. And... Uh, very complicated game for Orcas to win at this, that moment because they haven't managed yet to penetrate the defense of uh, the Norwegian players and uh, although they do great teamwork to, to, get, to hold on to the ball and uh, play around uh, the defense area of uh, Akaden, they they haven't had a chance yet really putting pressure into the basket so I don't see them how they can change this if they don't throw everything forward and go in massive because with one player as we saw until now they go in with one uh, one and a half players to break open the defense that's not enough against Akaren. Five minutes uh... So, would Great you, would match. you agree uh, Colombia should throw everything they have forward? Yes, they need to start moving maybe the ball or playing closer, closer. They cannot lose the ball like that. They, the, the Norwegians are super good and intercepting. They're very long. They have the reach, the body reach. So the Colombians need to play closer together. And um, they need to... Look, they're, they're always outnumbered by the Norwegians on the water. At least it looks like. I don't know if because the Norwegians yeah. are bigger. <laughs> But it looks always at least one more Norwegians on the water, and um, it's and really. Here you have three Colombian players waiting uh, in far distance of the yes. basket. They should go in they should and be, be able to uh, uh, be uh, uh, played at, to be passed at. But they wait outside in a safe distance, and uh, like this, they can hold on to the ball, but they will not create a situation where they can score. And here Akaran intercepted again, and they, we see the typical Akaran going forward, counter style. And oh. our current player, number 13, stole the basket away. It's uh, Cecile, Cecile uh, Scorre. She stole the basket. Oh, and Colombia just recovered. Lilo, que acaba de recuperar ese balón de nuevo ahí por un pelo. Y de nuevo lo acaba de perder. Oh, that's the dangerous situation if you lose... Uh, 
Hay mucho caos en, en la portería de Colombia. Les cuesta mucho dominar los ataques de, de Noruega y es una pena. Tienen tres minutos y medio, dos goles en contra. Está bastante complicado. I mean, Colombia está been struggling more and more in this uh, second half of really have kind of control in the attacks of Akar and it's the Akar are, are great and creating a lot of chaos and they're always struggling and just always just recording the ball a second before it's too late. So I don't see how they can turn these things around in the last three minutes with two goals uh, against them. Ay, 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 ay. I'm losing, I'm losing weight here <laughs> and gaining in gray hair. Yeah, the way I cut it, ah, here, the Colombian player breaks free, passing down, getting away from their own basket, but um, took a while for the teammates of the Colombian player to show up. Ball out of a playing area. throw for Akaren and already Akaren player stole the defensive position uh, closest to the basket from the Colombian player but uh, didn't help in this case took too long for her teammates to execute the free throw fastball playing here and already switching into the attack but uh, player number two Um, Mari Pratitaik Pratit um, had to wait for her teammates call from the referee pushing one minute 45 seconds Colombia está perdiendo 2 a 0 mm, y eh, Noruega ha sido hasta ahora el, el o sea, ha, ha estado jugando mejor y los ataques han sido más efectivos. I mean, um, Norway has been the, the strongest uh, team in this in this match. Um, and uh, Colombia was at the beginning of the first five minutes more in control, but then since then they have been really having problems to be in control of the game. Something call of the referee. So less than a minute left. A current ball possession. Passes. Time is working in their favor now. They have a solid 2-0 lead with uh, less than 40 seconds left. It's uh, no danger for them. Um, and uh, we will see Akaren uh, in the final, uh, which will be then against Langen. Yeah, Akaren Langen is going to be played at 2.30 today. And uh, if it is like this, 2-0 for Akaren and Orcas means that they did the third place. It's 15 seconds left. Uh, maybe they can still... Oh, let's see in the last second. Oh, that ball didn't reach the Colombia that I was blocking the goalie. Por favor, eso fue una pena. Estaban todas posicionadas y dieron un contraataque espectacular y perdieron. Se perdió el balón allí, aunque sea para hacer un gol. Two zero, two a zero para Noruega. Congratulations to both teams. A great, great match, but that means now Orcas is on the third place already. So the final will be played between Langen and Akar and later today. It was uh, uh, fun to watch. It was an exciting game. Both teams on a high level of underwater rugby. Uh, with the different styles and uh, different capabilities that uh, uh, fit together nicely in this game. Really enjoyed it, thanks to uh, Orcas and thanks to um, our current team from Norway. So I give uh, the microphone to Annika. Um, with the next game coming up is... Barcelona Zürich. Barcelona Zürich. Thank you very much for listening and watching and uh, talk to you later.
So hello, I'm back. First game for me commentating uh, today. So we have here in the live chat Colombo, uh, como siempre. We see some bus, uh, some Zurich players on here trying to warm up. A few more minutes uh, till the game starts. 